So does last week. I was feeling like so shitty, so crappy. Um, my workout was so crappy. I had to go down and wait, mostly on leg days. Um, but today I feel really good, really good. So it's my high rep leg day. Showing you guys the footage, obviously. Um, yeah, just further encouragement for you guys <laughs> to keep going, to keep pushing. Um, and if you have a bad workout, if you have a bad day, forget about it. Just do what you can, move on to the next one, because most likely a better one is coming very soon. So remember that. If you're having a bad day today, just keep going. A better day, better workout is coming soon, I promise. Let's get back to it. Everybody, this is Joy. Hi. <laughs> she, I just wanted to like shout you out because she's been working hard for how long now? Two years. Two years. Two years. When I first met you, you were a wee little like, <laughs> like you. I mean, you lifted and you ate. Yeah. But then you started tracking your macros mm -hmm. and lifting like heavier and heavy, heavy. Even though she's kind of like injured today, and so this is lightweight for her. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just so wanted heavy. to like, so heavy every time I come in, I want to like, squeeze my shoulders. Anyway, I just wanted to show, look at that, look at that, you see that? Like, little definition, heck yeah. I just wanted to show you guys, like, she's been killing it, and every time she comes in, I feel like I see more muscle, because she's patient and eating enough, and lifting heavy. All the carbs. Yes, carbs, <laughs> yes, okay. Anyway, bye Joy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
kind of a funny story to tell you guys. Um, I'm gonna tell you all as soon as I get to Matt's office. But basically, I'm like a frazzled mess right now. You can tell by the hair. By the way, it's clipped. That's why it looks like this. What if my hair like was this thin and I had it cut like that? Have my uh, dress on. We're going to my mom and my sister. One of my sisters and I are gonna go see the Nutcracker tonight in Austin, and. This is like the fanciest thing that I own. So I left the house in a complete and utter mess. I got home at about 3.30. need to pick up Matt at 5. Um, and then as soon as I pick him up, we're going to head to my parents' house, pick up my mom, and then go to Austin because he needs to go to my brother's house for his uh, bachelor party. And then we need to go to Austin for the Nutcracker. So I was in a big hurry, but I didn't get home until about 3.30 from working at Starbucks. Um totally my fault but I got home and started like rushing around to get ready and started hearing gunshots now we live out oh my god there's a kitty <laughs> holy moly kitty 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 it's gone dang it kitty if it comes by I'm gonna go get it so I started hearing gunshots now we live out in the country so it's gonna happen and Matt has told me this several times get used to it we're going to hear gunshots but the thing is this time normally it's like one or two or one every now and then this was a gunshot not too far away I, I think it's like across the the road from us and they have a, a lot of land across from us it sounded like it was coming from that direction but it was a gunshot every like one to two seconds and it went on for a solid like three minutes before I called Matt and I was like hey kind of freaking out there's gunshots and he's like just get ready and, and come here I wasn't anywhere near ready um, but I literally just threw everything that I could into my backpack and my my bag that I have my food in I literally just threw it all in there I grabbed Buzz's food by the handful and just put it in his little bag and I booked it like I threw everything in here and got out so basically I watched too many scary movies that's what it comes down to. I'm just paranoid. I always have been um, anxious, worry warp, paranoid. Anyway, um, so I'm here at Matt's office and before I go in, I'm gonna fix up my makeup in the car here. Yeah, then we're gonna go see the Nutcracker. I have no idea what we're gonna do. I was gonna have like a snack before I left, but I left in such a hurry. I did bring some food because I'm gonna be staying at my parents' house tonight and they don't ever have many options for me to eat. Like they don't even really ever have many vegetables. <laughs> So I come prepared. I brought some tofu and some gardein and lots and lots of greens and protein powder. So I don't know what you guys are going to see next. Hope y'all are having a good night. And that's going to be it. So see y'all soon. I think that's better. I don't consider myself a um, makeup expert in any way. But I feel like I don't do a terrible job, you know? These lately. I've been loving having eyebrows. I found this stuff. This NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade is seriously amazing. It's waterproof. So that right there is pretty cool. And it goes on like a little, um, it's kind of like a paint, like a pastel. You just fill in the, the old brows. I can't find a lighter color though because this is a lot darker than my actual eyebrows. But that'll do until I can find a lighter color. So yeah. Are you excited for your party this weekend? Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Austin. What for? Your brother. <laughs> you got a bachelor party. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. I think so. Um, I can get to it first. Are you worried about my life earlier? No. Not even a little bit. Thanks, babe. Was I supposed to be? Yes. You were. There's a killer on the loose. There's, there's a person probably just bought a gun out in the country, probably just testing it out, just playing with it. Killer. That's what I would do. He was killer. He was oh going house God. to house, going bah, 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 kill people. You think we would have heard about that by now? I haven't been on Facebook. I don't on Facebook. No one's going to put this on Facebook. They're all dead, right? Then how would we have heard about it? Oh, the news. 
helicopters. Because we keep the news out like Drones. all the time. Science. Your logic doesn't make sense. Neither We're gonna have Mama Foos for dinner. Mama Foos. We're about to go in and get it. We're actually waiting in the car because I just called it in. Check this out, you guys. They have music too. That's amazing. And then look at this little guy. It's a steamboat with veggies and brown rice and soy sauce. Thank you, Mom. She's in line to park. Okay. She should just do ballet like we did. No, she's good. There's Mom. <laughs> Protein fudge and a Lenny Larry's coconut chocolate chip cookie. So the nutcracker was awesome. It was so cool. Like, mind blowing. Those people are so talented. I wish I could do half the things that they can do. Right now, I'm gonna be editing some videos, eating my protein sludge because I'm way behind on calories today. Got Buzz Buzz right over there. And yeah. See you guys in the morning.